Two largest school districts in our area are looking at their budgets for next year. So whose property taxes are going up and whose are going down? Fox 11's Kelly Schlick has a closer look. Two separate school board meetings in Appleton and in Green Bay. No one from the public showed up to either budget discussion. In Appleton, that includes a 2.5% increase on property taxes. That means a $25 increase for each $100,000 of a home's worth. And that's largely due to property tax in the Appleton, or property values, I should say, in the Appleton Area School District relative to the rest of the state. The proposed overall spending would be around $209 million for Appleton schools. That's up about 11% from last year's budget, mostly because of the referendum passed last February. $22 million of that is the bulk of the projects that we're going to be completing for the revenue for the, from the referendum. Bay Area School District's overall budget could also increase this year, but only by 2% to $255 million. The increased funds will go to pay off renovations approved by a referendum last April. We are using fund balance to pay for that $1.1 million of the projects that the district was going to pay out a fund balance. But in the Green Bay District, under the budget, property taxes will go down 1%. That's roughly a $10 discount for $100,000 assessed home value. This is the first year that our property values in the Green Bay School District has increased since the last four years. Districts will vote on the budgets in the coming weeks. Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News.